Hey, welcome back to the channel. So my normal camera is out of commission right now. There's something wrong with it. So fixing that up and I'm just shooting a low production video here on my iPhone. So I wanted to talk today real quick about why I believe that going forward, anyone who is an online entrepreneur or who is building an online business or growing their online business, why I believe that it's gonna be absolutely required for you to have a personal brand moving forward if you wanna have a long-term profitable business. And there are three reasons why I believe this is the case that I'm gonna share in this video. But before I jump into that, make sure if you're enjoying the content, you hit the like and subscribe button, it helps me out, also helps anybody else out who can benefit from this content. And let's jump into these three reasons now, why I believe it's absolutely crucial that you need to be creating your own personal brand if you wanna have long-term success in your business, especially if you're in the online space. So reason number one is it's gonna set you apart. And in 2020, more people than ever before have started going online and started becoming freelancers and starting their online business and agencies and consulting and services and courses. So more people than ever are online starting their own businesses, which is great. But it also means that there are so many more people and competition of people who are saying the same thing, the same message, offering the same products and services, and there's more people for you to compete with who are doing the same thing as you. So by having your own personal brand, by sharing your own opinions and perspectives and insights and learnings and different value to your audience from your eyes, that sets you apart and that gives you a something that helps you to stand apart from everybody else out there. So that's reason number one. There are a lot of people saying the same thing. If you start your own personal brand with your own perspectives and views and learnings, you're gonna be able to stand out from all those other people who are saying the same thing. Reason number two, is you get to attract instead of chase people. So most people, when they talk to me, whether it's on the services or consulting side or one-on-one -on -one coaching or for any of my educational products, most people are already ready to buy. It only takes a few questions back and forth. I don't really do too many sales calls anymore. I can just close all of my deals through DMs and email. But most people, when they talk to me, they are ready to buy. And it's because I'm putting out content consistently on my YouTube channel, my Facebook group, my email list, my Twitter, and even somewhat on LinkedIn. So by consistently posting content and documenting my journey and my lessons and learnings and insights along the way on these different social media platforms, I'm able to build an audience of people and a personal brand of people who wanna hear more about what I have to say, my specific views on things, and it helps me to attract people so that I don't have to spend my days chasing them down, right? Cold outreach to people and sending cold DMs. I'm not saying that doesn't work, but I don't have to do that too much anymore because most people are coming to me and they're attracted to me through my content. So that's reason number two of building a personal brand. Get people to come to you, attract instead of chase. And if you are out there building your personal brand and creating valuable content, that will help you with that. And reason number three of why you should build a personal brand is you don't have to start from zero every time. You don't have to start from zero every day. And when I was running my agency from 2017 to end of 2019 or so, it felt like every day I was starting from zero because I had to wake up, I had to set up my, my computer and start to send out hundreds of cold messages and cold emails to prospects just to maybe get a deal, right? So I was spending all of my days, all of my hours reaching out to people who didn't know me and it felt like I was starting from zero because nobody knew me and I had to try and convince them and hard sell them on what I had to offer. So by starting a personal brand, I'm able to wake up now, I can create a new offer out of thin air and just put it on a Google Doc and not have to create anything and start generating sales. I can put out a piece of content and get people to raise their hand saying they want to learn more instantly. And I don't have to go out and reach out to people cold and start from scratch or what it feels like to start from scratch every day. So if you look at some successful entrepreneurs, uh, one example, a perfect example of this in the online space is Alex Becker. Alex Becker started off in the SEO space. He started creating training and products around that. Then he went into e-commerce. Then he started selling his own supplements. Now he's selling software and he has a huge YouTube channel that's around crypto advice now, right? Altcoins and trading crypto and buying crypto coins that are set to take off. So Alex Becker, he did not have to start from zero every time because he just tapped into his existing audience that he built using his personal brand and he's selling all these different products and services in all these different industries by leveraging his personal brand. Another example of this uh, on a much bigger scale is Elon Musk, right? Elon Musk, before Tesla, he had PayPal and he had all these other companies and he has SpaceX as well. And I believe without the personal brand, without Elon Musk as a personal brand, he would not be able to have the same success that he's having now. So if you go to his Twitter account, right, one tweet can set the stock market, you know, way up or way down. It can have a huge effect on cryptocurrencies and the price of certain coins. So Elon Musk, his personal brand has a massive effect on the market. 
and a massive effect on his companies too. So he can go to any investor now, he can get investors for whatever he wants if he wanted to start a new company and it's all because of his personal brand and the brand and the audience he built from his personal brand. So that is the third reason which is you don't have to start from zero every time. That's a huge one, right? It's, it feels really good waking up knowing that I can make money without having to start from scratch and without having to go out and hard sell somebody on what I have to offer. I could just simply go to my audience, make an offer, and start getting sales instantly even before a product is created. I did this a couple weeks ago, and I have a video on my YouTube channel about how I did that. So check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But again, the three reasons for why I believe if you want long-term success in online business, you need to have a personal brand. Number one, by creating a personal brand and building your audience, you're setting yourself apart from everybody else who's saying the same thing and selling the same products and services. Number two is you're gonna get people to come to you. You get to attract instead of chase people, which is a huge stress reliever and a huge weight off your back knowing that you have people coming to you every day ready to buy. And reason number three is you don't have to start from zero every day. You're gonna have your personal brand and your audience and it doesn't matter if you're selling different products like Alex Becker or Elon Musk, you can go to your audience, audience and tap into that and your personal brand and sell anything that you want, any product or service that you want. So that's it for this video, why I believe everyone should be building a personal brand online. And if you want more information and content around this, please make sure to go to my Facebook group, emailrainmaker.com. I talk a lot about digital products and email marketing and building an audience in that group. So again, go to emailrainmaker.com if you want more content around that. And if you guys enjoyed this video and this low production style, give me a like and comment below. Let me know what you thought and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.